Hey, we're going to talk about today is one of my favorite topics, superheroes. In particular, my boy Chris Hemworth, he plays Thor in the Marvel uh, Cinematic Universe. And this guy is ripped out of his mind. Super sexy when he comes onto the screen, he's utterly confident. And that's kind of where the problems start. Not in his confidence, but in his appearance. You see, Chris Hemsworth, he does like 60 to 90 minutes of workout a day. He restricts his diet down to just a very specific few foods, chicken, steak, fish, brown rice, and then that's it. His training regimen is so uh, is so extreme that many people use it as a standard for themselves, even in the movie business. But it's not something that someone like you or I would be out there doing. No, no, no. We don't have hours at the end of every day to devote to becoming some sort of Adonis. And that mismatch of what we can achieve in reality, realistically, and what we see on the movie screen is one of the reasons why we're dealing with an unprecedented number of body image issues, of self-worth issues, in the diminishment of men's um, self-confidence, men and women alike, in fact. Now, in the comics, these characters are not drawn with the express purpose to be completely believable. It's just art. Look at a cubist painting, right? It's not designed to replicate real life. The problem with comics is that it is kind of designed to replicate real life, and yet the standards are absolutely wrong. Now, there are ways to draw comics that look like regular people, that look like people you might see walking down the street, but these comics are far and few in between, and by and large, the comic book industry, and therefore also the comic book movie, industry tend to take their cues from the same media sources of everywhere else, which is unrealistic body types photoshopped and magicked or spent hours underneath uh, the expert hand of a makeup artist in order to gain a look that is uh, frankly just outside of what a normal person would actually be able to expect to achieve. Now the cost of this difference between what a person can achieve and what's just unrealistic is eating disorders. Uh, some people will spend their money on plastic surgery that can, that is very dangerous, can cause complications, uh, shots of hormones, uh, human growth hormone, anabolic steroids, all in the name of trying to get a particular look to be like Thor when he walks onto the screen, right? Giant muscles, huge confidence. The only problem is eating disorders kill a lot of people. Even just anorexia and nervosa, just as one example, 10 to 20% of people that suffer from that die within 20 years uh, due to complications from uh, diminished weight or oftentimes just suicide. This inadequacy, in a general sense, has led to 30 million cases of eating disorders in the U.S. It's one of the most dangerous mental health disorders that you can come across. Most don't even come close. And the media's refusal to take responsibility, movie producers being unwilling to cast folks that look a little, little more normal, uh, shoulder some of the some of the burden now there are things that we can do to mitigate this effect I'm not saying don't put beautiful people in movies or don't show a strong guy ripped throwing a, an axe or something like that what I'm saying is that we need to educate people we could be more realistic about who we put up as heroes who we uh, ep think epitomizes what a person can actually achieve. 
educate ourselves on what's going on in these movies. Uh, is it Photoshop? Did the person go through weeks of grueling training just to get that one couple second shot of looking very casual? Uh, knowing that will help us regulate our perception of what's going on and diminish the impact of having to see every day people that look, frankly, spectacular. And they're designed to look spectacular. They're designed to look like heroes because that's what we're supposed to aspire to. But when we aspire to things that are simply unreachable, all these unforeseen consequences happen and people can get really hurt. If you'd like to see some information, follow up on anything that I've said, you can check out the comments below. I've put a link to all my resources and references down there, including a couple videos that you can watch that are probably a lot better than mine. Um, good luck and I hope you do well with uh, whatever you're trying to get down with.